What the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle in order to go over information that a lot of people are asking me way too much. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to go over when and what is the six-year anniversary countdown campaign for Global Dokkan Battle. Hit my thought. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watch the cows get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite sized rappers now sense in my home. So, as you guys saw, they've already dropped missions for the six year anniversary it was almost like a pre-countdown campaign that's not really a campaign because it's literally just missions uh and from my count you should once you complete all the missions get 48 tickets and those tickets are for the six anniversary ticket summon not to be confused with the 66 ticket summon two different banners the 66 ticket summon is going to be accumulating 66 tickets that say the number 66 on it. And you'll be able to use all of those 66 tickets on this banner that guarantees you 66 units and one guaranteed LR. You can pull more, you can pull more SSRs, but you're guaranteed one LR. Uh, at least one LR, let me, let me rephrase that. Whereas the 6th anniversary ticket summon is different. The 6th anniversary ticket summon, I believe you use 5 for a multi, and it gives you 5 characters. It could be 7 for a multi, uh, but I think it's 5 for a multi. 5 tickets for one multi gives you 5 characters. It is not GSSR, so you are not guaranteed SSRs. You are guaranteed minimum SRs. You can pull SSRs at the normal SSR rate, and you can pull LRs at the normal LR rate. There's a bunch of really good LRs in there. So a ton of you guys that are watching are going to pull free LRs off of this 6th anniversary ticket summon, which you're already getting tickets for. Again, once you beat all of the um, missions, once you complete all of them, you should be sitting at 48 tickets before the countdown even starts. So that's really good. Let's go over what the hell is in this countdown because there's a lot. We're going to talk about what's in it. We're going to talk about the Japan date. And then we're going to talk about the global date because the global date obviously is different. Uh, and we're going to go over a banner that I think is dropping before the countdown comes out. So let's go over what the count, what's in the countdown first off. This is straight from Japan, six year anniversary. And obviously the beauty of hindsight is that we know exactly what's coming before it shows up for the most part. Six year anniversary, five year anniversary, four. Anniversaries in general, Dokkan Battle typically does not alter. They typically do not change it. It's usually just like your normal run the mill campaign throughout the year that they have no problems altering they have no problems manipulating modifying they will take out events put it at a later date they'll take out uh you know esbr they'll take out ezas put it in a different event etc etc they typically do not do that with anniversaries big uh, celebrations they don't touch it so that's a good thing that means that this should stay exactly the same so six anniversary soon countdown campaign it's almost the 6th anniversary of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We are rolling out a countdown campaign for the upcoming 6th anniversary. During the 7 days, it's going to be a week-long event, 7 days leading up to the 6th anniversary, you can get Dragon Stones and Celebration Summon tickets as login bonuses every day. We're going to go over that in a second. The Summon tickets that I talked about earlier can be used in the 6th anniversary ticket summon, which will be available starting on, and then obviously on the Japan anniversary since they've already had it that was january 29th in addition stamina restoring items will be reduced from five minutes to three minutes various dokkan events and story events will also be available every day let's begin the celebration of our sixth anniversary by participating in the events from the countdown campaign by the way shout out to dokkan wiki here uh so let's scroll down countdown login bonus log in every day and get up to 10 dragon stones and 35 Celebration Summon tickets. So for the entire week, you're going to start off at one Dragonstone, five tickets. For the first four days, or first five days, one Dragonstone, five tickets. 
for the sixth day, two Dragonstones, five tickets. For the seventh day, three Dragonstones, five tickets. So this is going to be pretty good. Ten Dragonstones, an additional 35 Celebration Summon tickets. Can't go wrong with that. Overall, we are going to be getting a ton of Celebration tickets, like easily over 100. So your chance, I think someone did the math, and they said with the amount of Celebration tickets that you get, if you do all the missions, all the login bonuses, all that stuff, and you get all of the, the, the tickets, you should have like a 43% chance to pull an LR on the free summon tickets. So that's pretty darn good, right? Let's scroll down. What else did they do? Comeback campaign. This is huge. Comeback campaign. So during the period... Step rewards will be given to users according to the number of comeback users. And then it shows how many users actually came back to Dokkan Battle during that time. So let's scroll down and take a look. This is for JP. So these numbers might be altered for global. This is the only thing that might be changed. The rewards will stay the same, but the actual numbers of users may be different. But who knows? It might stay the same as well. So step one, one Dragonstone, a bunch of uh, Turtle Shell, Items, five of each type, and 10 Z-Swords of each type. And that's if you bring 25, if 25,000 people come back to the game. What does that mean? That means if they've been gone, I believe it's 30 days, but it might be 45. If you haven't logged in in a decent amount of time and you come back, you get a comeback reward where every day you get rewards for like two weeks or something like that. Uh, this is a little bit different. This rewards everyone playing. So not only will you get these rewards, everyone will. So 25,000 people come back, one Dragonstone, bunch of training items. 50,000 people come back, one Dragonstone, seven Beerus uh, planets, seven of the Gravity Chambers, and five Aged Meat, which is very rare. 75,000 people come back, two Dragonstones for everyone. 1,200 hidden potential small orbs for everyone of each type, 700 medium orbs of each type, and 100 large orbs of each type. And that's honestly one of the rarest, besides skill orbs, hidden potential is probably one of the rarest uh, items in the game that you can obtain, right? Uh, 100,000 players come back to the game, an additional two Dragonstones, three Hercule Medals, and then it should be awakening medals of each type. So like Supreme Kai and, you know, Elder Kai and stuff like that. And then the final step, 150,000 players come back to the game. A final two Dragonstones, three Elder Kais, and two Timeless Hourglass. So for the most of us that are just playing this game regularly, we're just going to log in and continuously get prizes. Just continuously get prizes, right? Eight dragon stones in total, a ton of potential orbs, a ton of training items. It's just going to be real nice logging in and getting all these bonuses, right? Very, very cool. Uh, if we keep going, social media campaign. So we should get something similar to this. On JP, they have the little button that comes onto the right side of the screen where you can click it, and it's going to give you uh, a celebration summon ticket. In the past, it used to give you a Dragonstone. doesn't really do that anymore. So now you're going to get another 6th anniversary summon ticket. Uh, this should be going on for a week, uh, right when the countdown starts. And you'll get 7 Celebration summon tickets, which is not bad. Uh, Dokkan events available every single day throughout the entire anniversary, which is going to go on for like, um, what is it, about a month and a half, a month and a week, somewhere around there. Uh, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, a bunch of story events coming back, particularly themed around the Universal Survival Saga, around the Tournament of Power, you know, all that stuff. So Universal Survival Saga story coming back. Tournament of Power commencement coming back. Final battle of the Tournament of Power. Then you have some Tournament of Power related uh, stuff or things near, you know, that are kind of adjacent to it. So Pride Troopers event coming back. Universe 6 Saga story event coming back. Warriors of Universe 6, which is very important because it gives you the skill orbs, exclusive skill orbs for Universe 6 characters. Uh, category units like LR Kale and Khalifla, like AG, or Intelligence Vados, you know, a lot of very good characters. Uh, and then some kind of like, not really related, but some good to use 
uh, story events, Saiyan Trio led by Fate, the Dragon Ball Broly movie um, from Super, Zero Mortal Plan, Future Trunks Saga, Battle of Gods, Vegeta Indomitable Warrior, uh, the Vegeta Demise, which is like the duplicate Vegeta or copy Vegeta uh, story event. And then you're going to have the reopening of special events, uh, Magic Girl Fighters, where you can obtain those three cards. And then uh, Little Rangers, which is the Trunks, Goten, and Marin card. Uh, and then some easy areas coming back, right? Uh, particularly for the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, the kid versions of the Saiyans. You're going to have the Elar Zamas um, easy area. And then the one for the Ribran and uh, her girls there. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, we have reduced stamina down to three minutes. Baba Shop getting discounts, big discounts. And then the XP going from uh, normal to four times. And so that's going to allow me, myself, to go the push. I'm at six, rank 671. I'll be trying to get 700 before the end of the six-year anniversary. So uh, what date is this starting? Should be June 29th. June 29th is when the countdown for the six-year anniversary should start. So in case you guys are wondering, that's going to be in about, what, three weeks from now? We should be seeing all of this stuff being announced. Very, very, very interesting. I can't wait. On top of that, there's a little lull. There's a small time frame from the end of the current campaign that we're sitting at, which ends the 20th, and the beginning of the six-year anniversary. It's about a two-week span, and it actually gives enough time for one more banner, which I do believe will be the LR, Tapion, and Minosha banner. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to come out with a video talking about spend stones or skip. I'm going to tell you right now the answer to that, skip. <laughs> like, these, this dude's sick, Warriors of Legend, Siblings Bond. Like, he's really, really good, but he ain't LR, AGL, Goku good or in Vegeta good. So, yeah, uh, that's, that's just a quick one for you there. But this should come out the 20th of June. Uh, the countdown will start the 29th. And then this dude will go away like literally the day before the six-year anniversary um, shows up. This banner will get replaced by the six-year banner. So it'll be out for two weeks. Uh, so I'm excited. Hopefully you are too. If you want to see all the crazy six-year anniversary summons, you already know where you got to keep it locked right here. Click that blue join button. Become a boomer champion like Joe V or Wolverine Gaming. Or you can do it the free-to-play way. Gently rub that sub button. Gingerly ring that bell button lovingly. Ah, kiss the like button. As always, this is Periodic. See y'all in the next video.